I would like to tell you the story, romantic story of my mum's wedding veil. I found it in the back of the cupboard and it must have been there for a long, long time because as you can see, the silver fish had been eating it. Well, my mum got married in 1937 to a Scotsman. She came from Gothenburg in Sweden and she had met my dad a year or so earlier. She had a brother who was quite a lot older than her who knew my father through some business connection. And he said, could he let his sister and his niece come over to Scotland for a holiday and perhaps my father could show them around. So that happened and my dad fell in love with mum, Sonia. She had a long name, Sonia Viola Katarina. And I used to tease her and say, I'm glad you didn't call me that. I'm Sonia Ann, but not the full lot. <laughs> I used to say, I'm very glad. Thanks, Mama, for not exactly calling me after you. Um, anyway, um, Mum had a lovely holiday and they fell in love. And um, the following year, my father went over to Sweden to marry my mum. And so that he wouldn't lose the wedding ring, he actually sewed it inside his jacket so that it would safe. And um, got married in Gothenburg in Sweden. And the family joke was he had to speak Swedish and of course he didn't know what he was saying. So he was always reminded about that. Well, you never knew what you were saying when you married her, did you? <laughs> Um, Dad was quite a lot older than Mum. He was actually over 30 years older than my mother. She was 25 and he was in his late 50s, a confirmed bachelor. But Mum swept him away. She used to, people used to tell her that she reminded them of the actress Joan Crawford. And she always used to think, I'm going to be famous one day. So I like to think that this is my mum's little moment of fame. And I actually have a photo of her wearing her wedding veil and the wedding dress, which is here. And a most beautiful picture. And it was actually taken in Gothenburg. And just so that you know what my dad, my handsome father looked like there, his dad. It had the, they came and lived in Scotland and um, I had a very, very happy childhood. I have one sister who's 18 months younger than me and we grew up in the country in Scotland and just had the most delightful childhood. Um, he had a sister who lived with us who had never married and she had time to take us around and introduce us to nature and we used to go out in her little Morris ate car and looking for tadpoles and talking about the birds. We knew all the names of the birds and it was just a delightful childhood in Scotland. And I came to Australia in 1966 and I love Australia, but I feel very, very privileged that I've had such a lovely childhood and thanks to my mum and dad in Scotland. Mum died age 91 in 2004 and my father was actually 81 when he died which was in um, 1962. I always used to think because dad was so much older than my mum he would die before any of my school friends fathers. I had quite a hang up about that I used to think oh but he was very very fit. I remember one winter time Oh, when he was over 70, he got his skates out and we all went skating on the little lake that was nearby to where we lived. And he was managing so well and um, he always liked the spirit of adventure. He learnt to fly when he was over 50 years old. He learnt um, a tiger moth. He learnt to fly a tiger moth and said he always admired a spirit of adventure. So I feel very proud that I can continue on their spirit. They were just such a lovely, happy couple. Um, and I'm so happy that I can tell you a bit about them. Memories, isn't it? 
Memories, isn't it?